everyone, this is Curtis with Weed Whacker Lawn Cure. Hey, I'm coming to y'all to share a video uh, about uh, a comment that was left to me some time back. And it was asking me uh, about why did I leave my computer company to go in and do lawn care. And I think I've shared this before, but I'm going to share it again. Um, reason that I left, well, I didn't actually leave it. I did keep my computer company. I still have it, but I don't, I'm not active in it. I don't do any uh, work in it anymore. I haven't. Um, I, I still have my phone for, for the company. Uh, matter of fact, when everything happened last year, I don't know, out of nowhere, my phone started ringing. Uh, it was like, I probably got about 15 calls for uh, computer support. Um, a lot of people, you know, are at home working and all, and I was like, well, they got a pandemic, and uh, I'm not finna go out and service no computer or go to anyone's home to uh, help with the computer and you know I, I, I listened to all of uh, the messages uh, that everyone was leaving they had computer problems network problems keyboard problems uh, issues with their notebooks uh, and I was like a lot of a lot all of those problems now I could have resolved them and got them back up and going but I was afraid y'all I mean hey that virus was nothing nice and I was scared and I said I don't know As a matter of fact I'm still getting calls today I'm also getting uh, a lot of uh, recruiters are reaching out to me from my uh, uh, resume. I mean, I have a resume out there on uh, Monster and some other uh, websites out there. And recruiters are contacting me, um, you know, about doing some uh, contract jobs, you know, for uh, end user support. Uh, some of the offers are, <laughs> hey. Some of these contracts come through, boy, I tell you, it's like, I, I haven't acted up on any of them, y'all. I haven't acted up. I, I I was like, man, I don't know. Do I want to be in the air condition? Or do I want to be out in the lawns? You know, I don't know. But, it was years ago, when things would get slow, and it was around by September, October, and lawn care season was over, I would, uh, put my resume out and uh, it would get me through until the next season well what happened one year I, I put my resume out and I went on this job and um, let me tell you about what happened I went on a job and they they needed to do a, a, a inventory of all their desktop computers and networks and see what you know who was who and who was connected to who and where all these computers were located so they had about a hundred and something users y'all know what happened well I went out there they, you know I, I had an interview for the job and they asked me when could I start now this was supposed to last some time okay I worked that day I went in and I finished it up, over a hundred some people. I knew how to go in and network and, and track everything. Now this is something that had been stalled. They were in, in the company and you know the, the person that was over it was telling them they didn't have time and they couldn't get this done and you know and they were six months behind. But I went in in one day and got the job taken care of. Now you know what happened. You know what happened? I was fired from getting the job done. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. 
So what what it happened at the end of the day, I get a call from the contract agent and they said, Curtis, um, got some good news and some bad news. I said, what what do you want to hear? I said, well, uh, what's the good news? Good news, we want to thank you for going out and doing your job. But the bad news is, they don't want you to come back. I said, well, what happened? You done too good of a job. You worked yourself out of a job. I'm like, what? They said, yeah, you done, you finished up way before time. You, you went in there and you, you done, I said, well, I wanted to leave a good impression. You left a too good of an impression. I mean, they were like, oh no, we don't want him back. What happened was I went in and I took care of, I took care of the job. I went in and I finished it up. I was thinking about like how I'm working on this lawn care. And I was like, I see, you know, these people paying me to do a job. So I gotta go on in here and do it. Well, it don't work that way. Back in, in there, the way it works is you gotta move at a slow pace and drag it out. You know, <laughs> it's easy money, you know, it's going to take you all day. And I'm like, how in the world did this guy come in in one day and do an inventory of all these computers and locate where they were? Over a hundred and something. How did he do it? Well, I had experience and I knew what I was doing because I used to do rollouts. And we used to do moves and roll out, rollouts, you know, move from one building to the next building over and set these computers back up and get them, you know, hooked up. You know, get your operating system, get your networks, you know, find out where uh, your jacks are in your rooms. I'd have all the blueprints, the warring diagrams. I'd have the end, the list for all of the end users and all of that and had to verify that everything was going to boot up and work correctly so when they show up to work that Monday, everything could connect and they're ready to go wasn't gonna have no downtime and uh, so I was used to it so and that's that's what got me the job well they weren't looking for me to come in there and do that so you know the guy that was over it like I guess he was some type of like manager or whatever it was in other words it was like uh-uh we can't have him back he gonna take my job I wasn't looking to take nobody's job. I was just looking to do a job and what they were paying me. You can rest assured they were paying me too. <laughs> I was making some good money. <laughs> now, doing the IT, yeah, I made way more money than in IT than I would in any doing any of this lawn care stuff. A lot more money. But, back to what the, the comment was, why did I shut down my computer company? Well, what happened, I had a, uh, I enjoyed the computers, I mean love it. But I had some sick, sick family members, parents sick, my kids, mother, their mother was sick and and I was doing a lot of stuff for everybody you know I'm, I'm here when somebody down and out I'm there and I was spending a lot of time going to the hospitals just man so I put everything I put my stuff on hold cause I uh, I just didn't have time anymore, you know, trying to manage my computer company and see about everybody else, you know, they sick, you know, I'm like, man. And, um, and that's how I ended up getting into this lawn care because of my dad. He had some customers and I, back in the 90s, I would go with him and help him, you know, but in the 90s, he got sick. And so I just kept it going. And so then, you know, I was uh, working. Uh, I was I kept it going. I was doing it on the side while I was running my computer business. And 
what I would do early in the morning, I would get up about six and start mowing yards, and I'd mow them till about ten. And I'd come home, take a hot shower, change clothes, and put my uniform on, and uh, go and open up shop. And I'd be there the rest of the day. And I would repeat this over and over every day. Um, go mow the lawns early in the morning. And I'd done it for some years. And then I tried to, uh, you know, slow it down. And I was like, man, I don't want to, uh, I didn't really want to quit my computer business to do the lawn care. But what happened, one day I ended up, uh, doing some work uh, at my shop and I drove my truck and I had the mowers and stuff on it and uh, customers come in and they say hey you do lawn care? I was like well yeah this is so then they started hey how's it going? they started uh, asking me about my lawn care business and I was like I didn't want you know I didn't want the customers to know about that I mean I had over like a thousand customers in my database you know come and go but I don't want nobody to know about that but this so happened I got caught up where I had to uh, take my uh, well I had to I got caught where I was out working and I had to go into the shop and I drove the truck and it was leading to something else and I was like oh man this is spread I'm like oh, no no so I didn't want nobody they didn't a lot of my customers didn't know I had a I was doing a lawn service and I went on and they won't, well, that lawn, my computer business and the lawn service together, they, it was like picking up there too. I was like, oh man, I'm not trying to, it's going to be a conflict. I can't do both of these. But uh, eventually, like I said, you know, every, everything was just going downhill because uh, I had a lot of family members that were sick. And I, I said, I got to slow it down. And um, that's what I did. I slowed it down. And then I I accepted a job. I went on a contract job. I didn't know. So IT manager, you know, you know managing um, a logistics, you know, with the trucking and the shipping and the receiving. And I was making good money, you know offered me a job to come out there and I'm like okay so I went on and then when that played out you know that's when I took the lawn care and that was in 2011 that's when I went on and took the lawn care full time um, yeah I took the lawn care full time and I just this old Ford truck that I'm sitting on that's all I was driving was this Ford truck I put a lawnmower here in the back and I had a blower and all of that, and I would go and mow some lawns. And that was, you know, that was it. Then I took and uh, I used some of my uh, stuff that I used in my computer business, some of my marketing tools. I was, I was curious. I wonder will this really work in lawn care? And uh, the stuff that I had used in the computer business, I used it in the lawn care business. It, it worked. It worked. I done. I used all that same marketing tools that I was using for my computer business. I used it for my lawn care business, and uh, thing took off. Then I had to get a trailer. And I had to get a bigger mower, and you know I, that that just blew up for me. I was like, wow. Meanwhile, I ain't had to buy a new truck. That's when I bought this 2012 Ford. F-150 that's over here. I bought that brand new. Because, well, I had a truck, a Chevrolet, Silverado. And on that one, I think I showed them. I shared it in a video. But that truck, I had about 260,000 miles on it. And it had, you know, started to give me some problems. And it was getting into my pocket for his, uh, doing the maintenance on it and all. And I was like, wait a minute. Wait a minute, I'm putting a little bit too much money in it. It's always something, you know, something would break. I always felt like, hey, I could do the repairs on it. It was cheaper than a note. At some point, it was cheaper. It saved me some money. I figured that, hey, if it cost me 
I don't know, a thousand or fifteen or two thousand dollars a year just on maintenance, whatever need would keep me running, and plus I'm making money. Well, again, well, it added up, and uh, it was like it's getting beyond two thousand a year. We, we're talking about getting over into four thousand a year. I'm like, no, nah, it's time to get a new one, and I'm glad I bought a new one because uh, I don't have no. Uh, no problems, you know, with that new one. I mean, just take it into the shop, let them check it out and everything and keep rolling. But I'm glad, I would always say get a new truck if you're doing lawn care, cause you can't afford to have no breakdowns, your truck down and all. You gotta be moving, especially pulling a trailer. You got your equipment, you don't wanna get caught somewhere with all of that stuff on your, uh, on your, well, you don't wanna have, get caught with a broke down truck and got your trailer with all your equipment on it and it won't pull it. Now you don't want that. You gotta stay there with it. So then you'll be like, wait a minute, I'm gonna go buy me a new truck. And that's what I did. I went and got me a brand new one because I was like, no, I'm not gonna uh, be chancing, you know, being out here in this truck breaking down and all. The same way, you know, with this old Ford truck. I mean, it, I got it all tuned up and everything and it'll go but I just never know when something may break down on it and then can you get it fixed? It's hard to find parts. Uh, I've had this thing in the shop a number of times and I spent way too much money over the years in keeping this running. Matter of fact, I was at a dealership and they was asking me, say, it must be sentimental value in this truck. I said, yeah, it was my dad's old truck because they said, you don't spend a lot of money. I said, how much I don't spend put into this thing? I put in like way over about eighteen thousand dollars. I could have bought another truck, but it was my dad's old truck. So I don't went through everything, you know, brakes, rent, transmission, pressure plates. You know, I don't put in everything in there to uh, get this thing fixed to keep it running. And so then I decided to just take it off, you know, take it off the road. Now. That's kind of my story about, you know, how I got into this, this lung cure, you know. My, my dad getting sick and all, and uh, going full time with it. And it was years back, at, right after my dad got sick, my mom said, hey, you know, the customers were calling for my dad and he couldn't do it. And she said, oh, my son would take care of it. And I was like, okay. But I was hoping my dad would get back well. And he never did. And I just, you know, kept doing it, doing it, doing it. And so, after uh, doing it for so long, I just, you know, I just said, what, what the heck? Let's just see where I'm gonna go with it. And uh, I did, you know. And it, it just, it kept growing and growing year after year. It gets bigger and bigger. Okay guys, my battery had died. I don't know this heat out here. I tell you, took my camera out, but I'm back now, I'm back. And as I was saying, uh, I, uh, you know, I just kept doing the lawn service, kept doing it. And my computer business, you know, I, like I said, like I was telling y'all earlier, I haven't been active in it. I still have all kinds of computer equipment and stuff that, you know, I, st I could use for his uh, opening up another shop, another computer shop. I don't know. I may get back into it. I don't know. I, I may. Now, I want to I wanna address one thing. Every business you get into, you gonna, you end up having some problems. Now, I had problems in, in, the, uh, in the computer business. You know, you get all kinds of... Uh, I mean, same thing, people out wanting something for nothing, uh, trying to scam you, always trying to sell you something that you don't need, uh, get a bunch of hot checks, checks that's so hot, you know, you know I don't even know why they, they're, you know, trying to write a check. They know they don't have no money. Um, I don't... Matter of fact, I had a guy wrote me a $30 check and 
business was slow. And so I turned it over to, uh, they have small claims uh, collection. You go down to the county and you fill out this form and then you fill it out and you send them a, send them a certified letter and everything. Then if they don't address the issue, then they'll go and pick, the, pick you up. Matter of fact, well, I had one and they went and picked the guy up and put him in jail. And it was over a $30 modem didn't pay for it. I was like, hey, I gotta pay the bills around here. All these people writing all these hot checks and not paying me my money. <laughs> Shoot. So, and, and yeah, you, it's called, yeah, worthless checks down at the county. You get your money. And, you know, just in any business, I mean, you had to be very careful because I tell you, it's stressful because you don't know, you know, who you are dealing with. You know, when it comes to business, and I mean, you got to be very careful. You got to be on your uh, P's and Q's at all times because you don't know when you're going to get robbed or what what's going to happen out here. And you got to be on the look at, lookout at all times. You got to be looking at cars. You got to be looking at people, the imposter. You got to be looking at what's going on. You got to be studying this stuff. You got to know. You got to have a mindset that, hey, anything can go down. Don't take it lightly that it's all easy because it's not. When I tell you it's hard, it is hard because if you don't believe me, watch the news. You always hear about somebody getting robbed, uh, some business getting robbed, or all kinds of stuff. Watch the news, study. Look at all these crime shows that they have, uh, 48 hours of mysteries. This stuff is real, y'all. It is real. Uh, matter of fact, it was when I was little, growing up, had a great aunt, great aunt, which was my dad's aunt, uh, my grandma's sister. She had a grocery store. She uh, would ran that store for years, and uh, she got robbed. She got shot up a number of times. Uh, what happened at gunpoint. Matter of fact, uh, her husband was in there with her once and they got robbed and he got shot and he, he died. But, you know, great Amy, she kept pushing at it. She kept pushing. He didn't let that stop her. But, she, I mean, she was tough. I mean, I don't know, I would have gave that up. But she did she stayed in there until she got way over into almost in her 80s running that store until she just couldn't run it anymore you know she just went down and then that it just went but i'm like wow you know i mean she was a strong lady matter of fact she had a, the store and the way this what i remember the way this store was it was a store at the bottom, and then she had these apartments, and then she had this other section in there where they even had a barber shop. Now, I don't know how she came to own all of this, but she somehow she worked her way up. So she had a, she rented out a section, and they had a barber shop there, and then she had this place where it had upstairs, and she rented out apartments. I mean, she had it going on, and she always <laughs> had new cars, everything. She ran that grocery store, and it was it was small. It was in a community, and everybody would come there. And they had a bench on the outside, and the guys would, would sit there on the bench and hoorah and joke and drink and oh man, it was like oof. And uh, I'll never forget, though I, I still to this day it was a good friend. He was an older guy, and he'd always tease me playing. We'd be joking with me when I come with my dad and all, and I'd always look for that guy. He he was a funny guy. And uh, one day, I asked what happened to him, and they told him told me that he had um, he's with some guy and got into it. They was uh, throwing dice or something or other, and it was over a three dollar bet with the dice. And a guy pulled a gun out and shot him, and I was so hurt. Been hurt, I mean, so hurt about that. 
over three dollar bet on some dice and I was like, well, it's not good to be gambling. So, you know, but he was such a nice guy. But things like that happen. But anyway, y'all, I'm just I've been telling you my stories of you know about my computer business and what went on in my life and stuff events and all and you know where my computer company's at and why I uh, you know basically had, had shut it down you know because you know of looking after loved ones you know my parents were sick my, my dad was sick my mom was sick my kids uh, mother was sick I mean she had issues and I was back and forth seeing about her going to the hospital and you know she's going through this chemo and radiation and oh man it was ugh, it, it got to be a, a bit much for me and uh, you know I said boy look at here and then my dad you know he was sick and Mom, she was sick. Then my uncle, he he got sick. And, you know, all these people that counted on me to come and help them and everything, I was there for them. And, uh, you know, they all passed now, but I'm glad that I was able to be there to help them at their time in need. You know, I, I was thankful that I could do it. And I did. So I, I, I got them all uh, taken care of while I could take care of them and help them and be there. But I spent many nights in hospitals sleeping in chairs and stuff. Man, it was rough. But anyway, y'all, that's my story about why I uh, pretty much closed the computer company down for a while closed it yep anyway I hope you've enjoyed my story of me telling you what happened in my computer business and why I quit doing it so uh, for now I'm finna go y'all hope you've enjoyed this video but uh, I gotta go so y'all take care and uh, I'll be back soon with another video all right bye for now